Welcome to another vlog. There was something I needed to do. Oh, my water. I forgot. It's Friday morning. I am about to go work out. Today I'm getting lip blushing done. I'm getting my eyebrows being microbladed is the word. Lots of things are happening. I have two more rugs arriving. Very exciting. Guys, I actually think I might be ready for a house tour like sooner than I thought. Like obviously there's always gonna be things that I'm switching, but I kind of want to do one before I decorate for the holidays, which is early November. I'm trying to get my vitamins organized. Like that is the level of like on my shit that I am today, okay? I bought all these and I've been on a subscription since a year ago. And I don't think I've consistently taken them more than like four days. So that's changing. I have everything that I need here. So I'm gonna put it all together. And then in like five minutes, I'm leaving for not Pilates for weightlifting. It's gonna be a great day. I have my water bottle here. Very colorful for me actually. Charging the cameras. I'm really excited, but I'm kind of nervous for lip blushing because I might leave looking like a fish. I don't know. I'm like, no, that's not happening. My lips are gonna swell, but not that bad. They always swell when you get lip blushing done, but like my lips don't swell that bad when I have injections normally. So I'm hoping that it just, is normal. I really want to go out tonight. Like, what if I play a fish and I like want to go see my friends? They'll love me regardless. The, I'll be flamed. I know that, but I think they'll still love me. Hopefully, we'll see. Guys, if you listen to the podcast, you would know I've told like four, probably more than that, different guests on the show that I was going to figure out my human design. So I did it a while ago, and I thought I had the time wrong. Whatever. Ended up finally doing it last night. I stayed up very late working, and then I was like, you know, I don't need to go to bed. I should just do this. Like, I, this is why I'm tired. Anyways. I'm a generator, which makes sense from like what I've read up on it. But what I thought was interesting is that it tells you like the place where I'm gonna get this wrong, but like where you thrive. And mine was valley, and I don't agree with that. I would say I feel anxious in valleys. I feel noticeably different in the mountains. Like I love lakes and I love the mountains. I'm not a beach person. I'm not like a tropical ocean girly. I am a mountains girl. And so the fact that it was valleys, I was listening to what we said, and I know Chelsea said hers was mountains and. JC said hers was valleys. I don't know. I just like don't feel that for me Literally at all. So anyways, do any of you guys know your human design and what are you? Do you know your Enneagram? I'm a three wing two. I actually really like personality tests. I find them to be very interesting Oh my god, there's a new barbershop on Lower Greenville. It's like so cute. There's so much going on in Dallas right now Just like going up. It's just like so exciting. I can't wait to water my plants today I'm just making my house a home everything also tomorrow's Texas OU OU Texas and everywhere is like being decked out. I'm actually very excited. I actually like an earlier game sometimes because I find it to be cozy, especially if it's cold out. I would prefer one or a three. Tomorrow is 11. So I don't think we're going to be going out or like staying out or anything like that because we've got a big day ahead of us. Um, but tonight we're going to Hudson House, which would be fun. So, oh, I leave for New York on Monday. So this is kind of like a four day vlog. Like we're getting our lives together to go to New York. I'm having weekend Atlas. We have more home stuff, but I just want to say like my home is feeling so cozy. It's feeling better than ever and I just I'm on to something here. I really I'm on to something. <laughs> So I ordered my favorite breakfast again from Chop Shop. It's the Sunset Wrap. It's so good. And I get their green juice. It looks disgusting. Tastes good. I actually like green juice. I don't know why. Guys, I'm just in such a good mood at all times because it is fall, okay? And this weekend, our high is 80. That is so exciting. Um, I can't wait for it to like actually be cold. Also, I already I got like my sunscreen. I'm using the glow screen golden hour and I got it on my shirt. So I love that. I'm just in an amazing mood. So I think I'm gonna go get some coffee. I wore this sweater. And this and the gray one and I have a brown one like 24 7 in Nashville and like the thing is like you can see that You know, that's unfortunate. I am filming a lot of videos today Coco and Fitz are playing. Anyways, this is my outfit. I'm in a great mood because this is my outfit, okay? These pants are lioness. They're just like loose cargo pants. I'm not obsessed with them. They're fine I like how they fit like around like my like stomach area. I feel like it actually fit well. Um, I have my Uggs and then I have these cute little socks on from Amazon. They're frilly. I love them. 
And then I have a white tank top from Aritzia. This sweater is, is Abercrombie. I highly recommend it. Like I will link these below, guys, but I saw them online. I knew I'd wear them all the time and they were sending gifting. So I asked for those in three colors and I have worn them like every day. I also throw them on when I go work out in the morning. I just, I'm obsessed. So anyways, if you're looking for like good sweaters every day, Abercrombie and these, I'll link this one down below. I have them in this color, brown and then gray. Anyways, it's 10.30. I have 30 minutes until my appointment starts. I'm gonna grab a Starbucks, head over that way. And I'm excited, I'm kind of scared. I'm getting, we'll talk about this in the car. And then I'll just do a splash of oat milk. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Like, why did I make that so complicated? Getting my Starbucks. Today I'm getting lip blushing. Have a good one. Thank you, have a good day. I had been forgetting to tell Dom that a Buffalo Exchange opened up. She used to, well she, I don't know. She really loves Buffalo Exchange, she does. Guys, I'm just like so amazed by all the beautiful things that are happening in Dallas. Dom will be so excited to know that a Buffalo Exchange opened up right across the street from a drive through Starbucks. So someone should tell her that. I hopefully will remember. I'm on my way to the Brow Project. They're in Harwood. I thought this entire time they were in Bishop Arts and I don't know why, I think I, I'm getting it confused. I thought I'd seen it in person before, and clearly that's not what I saw in person, and I thought I was at Bishop Arts this whole time. Anyways, it's in Harwood, and they do a bunch of like lip tattoos, cosmetic tattoos, like people do like eyeliner and stuff. I They actually DM'd me, and I didn't even realize that that's where my sister went. I'm getting lip blushing. I've only gotten injections like a few times over the span of like a couple years, so not that often, but I've already noticed that my natural lip color has gone down, and lip blushing like fixes that, but also they like line your lips and it just looks like you have like more color I don't want like a lipstick tattoo I want like a not even the neutralization I want like a very subtle nude pink that just like works you know last month I was like I need to get this I'm so excited I was looking all over TikTok and then I made the appointment and that was a month ago and it, time flies guys okay time really does fly I'm on my way there I'm obviously gonna take you guys along for the process and I'm gonna make a lot of TikToks too so I feel like that will be easier sometimes I get like really like awkward or insecure not insecure maybe just like feel uncomfortable so I guess insecure vlogging in front of people that I don't know so we will see but I'm going to the bra project and I'm very excited I'll be there for a couple hours so hopefully I can like work from I don't know how that would work though I don't know we'll see guys i'm out just so you know everything is going to be one they're swollen and two more intense my brows and my lips today it'll get more intense tomorrow it'll peel the next few days it'll go down and then the color will come back and it'll be like normal looking so like this is not the color that my lips will be it's gonna be a light pink like neutral color and then my brows are also a lot more intense than they will be so i look a little bit crazy right now and i'll probably look crazy this weekend but you have to just like trust the process you know um anyways that place was so cute the brow project right here um so when i was thinking hardwood i was thinking like hardwood arms like, of course, I go to bars. So, it's, like, such a cute area. Not that Harvard Arms is in a cute area, but, like, this area is so cute. I've never been here before. Anyways, um, if you guys use my name, you get $100 off of, like, whatever you want there. They do, like, permanent makeup, brows, beauty, all that stuff. They have my curly needling. Um, but, yeah, I'll take you guys along for the process. It's gonna, they're gonna go down, okay? But I actually really like my lips right now. So, I'm, like, this is very convenient for me um, that I'm not hating them. I do feel like I need to put makeup on right now just because, obviously, the rest of my... Like my brows, my lips are so intense. But anyways, I really liked it. I have my cute little thing. Um, oh, Nicole did my eyebrows and then Dallas did my lips. And they were both so great. I was so tired. So I was like, I can't even like, I, like I laid down. You know like laying down in an appointment and then you lose like all energy and you're like, I can offer like nothing in this conversation. Also, you can't really like talk, you know, but anyways, it was so fun. I really liked it. I don't know why that's purple right here. What? Okay, well, you can see. I'm home. My lips are feeling tighter. This is like literally 15 minutes later. They definitely feel very weird. They're still numb. 
So they feel a lot bigger than they are and I just feel really intense, but don't worry It'll all go down and be more subtle and natural looking and this will not be the color anyway So anyways came home to a very exciting package from skims I am working with them on Instagram, which is like literally the highest honor of my whole entire life There's literally a skims haul in the last video of just like stuff that I buy I make an order they're at least once a week. Like so, last week I'm in a three. So I'm obviously clearly obsessed, but I'm really excited because they sent me a lot of the Fits Everybody line, which is my favorite and it's my favorite color. So I will link all this below. Here is the bodysuit. I wear size medium by the way and all of our stuff. Beautiful pink bodysuit that I am just obsessed with. We have some cute like boy shorts that I love. I have a really great like bodysuit long sleeve, which I would love to wear tonight. I just don't know if that'll work with my outfit yet. Um, and then I also have this one that's like a little bit of like a turtleneck. Like I love that so much. Long sleeve. This is the issue is that I wanted the everybody fits everybody t-shirts, but I want all the neutral colors too without even this, just normal, because that's like what I wear every single day. Then I also got another bra. These are actually my favorite bras in the entire world. I wear them all the time, I probably have like four or five of them. I will link it below, I wear, I wear size medium, but this is the most comfortable bra you'll ever wear in your entire life. And then we also have this beautiful lilac color that I'm obsessed with, like so cute. Um, this beautiful, oh, another bodysuit. Then we have underwear, oh, and this dress. That was like so cute. I will definitely be posting in this. Like I love this. And then last but not least, we have the t-shirt, which I love this t-shirt. This is actually gonna be so cute for Christmas. You know, like I'm really getting ahead of myself, but I just think it is the cutest thing ever. So that's very exciting. My new rugs came, at least two of them have arrived. One of them being for the rooftop. So that'll be interesting getting that up there. And the other one, I don't know which one it is. It's either the one for the runner or for the closet. So I'm gonna eat my lunch, listen to a little podcast, and then we are back to home improvements, if you will. This rug has arrived and it's definitely a lot brighter of white than I imagined. And also, like, why did I think a white rug in the kitchen would be a good idea? I don't know. When I got new hardwood, why didn't I bring the hardwood into the kitchen? I think I thought I couldn't. I have literally no idea why I did that. I have no idea. So here I am stuck with this tile in this kitchen, but I mean like whatever. Anyways, it's, I mean it's fine. Like it's good enough. I think it's a cute rug actually. I just don't know about this placement, but I actually think it's really cute. It's from, right, it's from Rugs USA, I will link it. Um, it came with like a non-slip too, but the non-slip didn't fit this rug. So I don't know if I'm supposed to cut it, but I like the rug, I just don't know about the placement. Of this rug and I think it's fine. I like it. I'm not obsessed. I like that I can wash it. It's runnable. I don't know. I didn't want to do something like too crazy in here because I don't like it to be too much. You know what I want to do? I want to get like cool framed things there. That's a good idea. I like the rug. Like it's fine. It's one of those like plush rugs and I didn't want it to look cheap. I don't think it looks cheap, it's just like short. And I don't know, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna leave the room and walk back in and see how we feel. Okay, walking back in. Yeah, I mean, it's like fine. It does feel cozier in here, which is what I wanna do. I wanna get a really cool light fixture that maybe even like drops down like a chandelier. No, I'm like, I can, I've can. i considered like making that a vanity and like having it be like really thin and getting a chair and table. But it would like block off this and block off my cowboy boot closet. So like that's just like probably not gonna happen. So maybe I just like need to move this stuff. I don't know, but no, honestly, it's growing on me. I actually like it, I think. What are you doing? You better not be trying to have an accent on here. No, no, no. You match the rug, Coco. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm handling, or I'm getting this one out and then it's gonna go under here. So I'll have to move this stuff. These are lighter than the other though.
right, y'all. Got one of these rugs. I have another one coming for over there, too. Super cute from Rugs USA, outdoor rug. Still gonna replace the coffee table. Haven't found one yet. Really, this couch is, you know, it's, it's good enough. It's fine, it's outdoor furniture, you know? But anyways, I think it's really cozy, I love it. My house just feels, my home just feels so cozy besides that stupid screensaver that is back. How is it back? All right, I need to mix some water. Not mix, why do I always say that? I need to pour myself a glass of water. Update on my lips. They could be worse and the brows could also be worse. Like it really could be worse. It just looks like I like did too much makeup. You know what I mean? So I obviously just spilled water on myself. I brought back out my pink Balenciaga and I'm wearing pink heels from Sam Adamant today. It, I could wear this as like a Barbie Halloween costume, honestly. <gasps> Should I be a Barbie for Halloween? I wonder if I need to get like pink, like fuchsia pants. I feel like that's such an easy costume. I really want to be Britney and like go all out, but like no one, I don't know if I'm going to any parties that are going all out and like, I don't know. Normally I wouldn't care about being that person, but I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. Anyways, I just shot my skim stuff, which just like always makes me so happy because it is like just makes me so grateful for my life and my job because it is truly a dream. Skims is my favorite. Literally in my last vlog, I was talking about how much I love the Fits Everybody line from Skims. The long sleeves, specifically the t-shirts, the scoop neck bra, whatever, and how I like want more, but it's out of stock. And then I had ordered other stuff. And then today I got the package from Skims and that happens to be the line that I'm working with them on this month. So, I'm just so grateful, and it is such an amazing brand. I'm just obsessed. Great job, Ken. Um, I'm gonna send in that stuff. Lauren's gonna come over at some point, and we're gonna make TikToks, and then we're going to Hudson House for dinner. I don't know if we're going out tonight, because tomorrow's gonna be like a long day. Um, I'm like okay to like stop somewhere, maybe. But our dinner rest is already at 8.15, you know? Like, I would be fine coming home, basically. Guys, I'm showing Lauren the updated roof. Don't you think there's been good movement made? A lot of movement. I'm up here barefoot. I know, and you can never normally do that. Like, <gasps> what happened here? No, that was. Uh, I must have sat them there earlier. Oh, keeping this floor like it's just next to impossible. This is my garden. I've been watering my plants. They've been getting soiled. That one needs to be fixed, but I can't do that right now. The umbrella's got to go, but everything else feels so good. So Lauren just told me I have bad news for you, and I'm assuming it's like she made plans without me. <laughs> um, no, honestly, or like you just had plans in general that I wasn't part of and she goes no actually our plans tomorrow start at 9 a.m Which I actually kind of expected because obviously the game's at 11. Okay. I Do you know. remember we used to pregame at like 7 a.m When I would go to USC stuff at 7 a.m. I was not there. So no, I don't well not that. you <laughs> we as in me and my people I can barely make it out of bed at 7 45 on work days Yeah so, on a Saturday, we're really pushing the limits. I'm wearing jeans, a long sleeve, mini Uggs, and a hat. That's it. Uggs? Yeah, I'm wearing Uggs. We are really committing to fall. Yeah, well, I've been telling everyone this. It has been fall for me for so long. Like, okay. also, it's kind of nice out. Look, I've been wearing Uggs. I'm ignoring Coco at this point. Fitz has this undying love and obsession with Lauren. Like, he just sits on her and smiles at her. And, oh, here we go. I want him to do it again. Oh, he brings toys to her. Now Coco gets the attention. Earlier, he just stood on top of her like his legs were on either side of her. So we're going to Hudson House for dinner. And then tomorrow at 9 a.m. God, do we have to drink that early? Yeah. Well, no. I, I won't be drinking we're, that We're going to start drinking at 10. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> well, that makes it so much better. Thank you. I can't even like stomach. I just haven't had to do this in like a year. You have to start with tequila. Well, yeah. At 10 a.m., which is fine. Did you get darker nails with the chrome? Yeah. Did you get darker nails with the chrome? Wait. So they put chrome on this. Wait, that's not even chrome. And it, no, Mine's I made them take it off because then it looked like that scene from SpongeBob where it was like chrome world. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. And I was like, I don't think that's right. I and honestly like didn't really like these until everyone complimented you me. remember? Because this was the first time I stood up for myself at the nail I'm salon. so proud of you. Yeah, but then they just kept the gel, to gel top. I'm going to fight with Adore right now. They put we them might be switching nails on. So we get them, we get our nails done together every time, but... This past week, we had to go separately because I left town and she had a bachelorette. And mine looked like shit. 
This is the second week in a row. Yeah, I, I always have a great <laughs> great experience there. Yeah, well. So we might be trying out new places. Actually, we will be trying out new places. Anyways, I'm gonna go now because we're supposed to make TikToks before we leave for today. <laughs> <laughs> to pick out my outfit. So it is 8.40, I'm still in my pajamas, and I need to leave in basically 20 minutes. So I have an idea of what I'm gonna wear, but not like confirmed. I need to wear a hat because like, my stuff just, it looks intense. Like my lips, by the way, they feel like a little bit like sensitive, and my lips are just intense, and granted I don't have makeup on, and I also don't have Solterra on, so it's like really intense. Um. But I might put on, where's my Lucchese hat? I thought I grabbed that yesterday. Here's what I'm wearing to go to Hero, literally a sports bar. But here's the thing, like I like dressing cute and chic, okay? I know I'm wearing a blazer to watch the game, but like that's just me. I love football. I love watching games. I obviously grew up in Texas. It's been a huge staple in my life. Um, I like literally, that's all I did growing up with my dad especially. But I wanna wear this blazer, okay? So the blazer is for Itzia. My top is Skims, jeans are Levi's, Ugg minis, and then I have a bag from The Real Real, it's Fendi. And so I had like too much coffee and water and not enough food. My Starbucks has arrived, Lauren is picking me up in her Uber on the way. It is like literally 9 a.m. guys. Like that is really something. So anyways, this is my look. I'm wearing the blazer because like what if I'm cold inside? And like let me live. Like, I know people are going to give me shit for this, but I just don't really care, so. Anyways, this is what we're doing today. Hopefully, I have a night in, because it's going to be a really crazy day. Very intense. Oh, you know what? I need to wear my other Uggs. I'm not wearing my new Uggs, because I'm not wearing this to the bars. My lips are really peeling now like we're starting to they feel really tight I will say my healing process has been nothing compared to what I expected I went on TikTok, like go on TikTok and look at like lip blushing like healing before and after or whatever and everyone's lips are like so like swollen like puffy crazy to like the horror story so I was really prepared for that but I wanted to do a little bit of a haul I Ordered some stuff from the Kosas sale. Oh, also, guys, Aesop sent me their new perfume. And like, this is the coolest moment of my life and it smells incredible. I also got my Curology subscription. Big Curology girl. So this is a contour fan brush. Also, the brushes are cute. I love Kosas. I think that their stuff is amazing and it's like minimal and natural and that's just like more my vibe. I wonder what my vibe would be like if I was good at makeup though. You know? I'm also lazy, so like those coupled together, I still think I wouldn't do it all the time, but like my little sister is like so good at makeup and like literally has full glam every day and I'm like, how do you do that? Very, very talented. This is for face concealer, like a little under eye moment. The Kosas concealer. I think I've had it before. But I don't think I really like used it correctly. I do think I actually have it right now, but. Oh, their lip oils are so good. We got my shower and it's Sunday morning. I have breakfast waiting for me right now. I have my fall candles going. I'm gonna put on Luckiest Girl Alive and stamp some bags for the pop-up this weekend in New York. Um, I'm just having like, a great fall Sunday. I'm not leaving the house. I'll be cozy all day. I don't even wanna go on like a walk, I don't think. I just wanna stay home all day because I'm gone this entire week. And I just love my house, I can't leave. Hot liner, hyaluronic acid plumping lip liner. Another lip oil. I think I got three, like I think I got them in a set. Oh cute, okay so I got, I will link all these by the way. I got Unbuttoned Fruit Juice, 
and Malibu. Malibu was my favorite. Next brush we have, this is a powder brush. Cute. Okay, and this is the angled cheek brush. This is what I really wanted from Kosa's and why I ordered everything else because I just got sucked in. I wanted to try their face powder. I've never like had face powders that I really liked. And this one apparently like blurs your skin, but I'm excited to try this and see how it goes. Anyways, I'm gonna take all this trash out, get my food, and get on with my nice Sunday morning that is so relaxing. All right, Hocus Pocus is playing downstairs. I've just been working this morning, but finally my last ruggable rug for this little hallway has arrived. I opened this door because I still haven't replaced one, the lights in general, but light bulbs, so that needs to happen soon. It's very dark here, but it is the same print as the one downstairs. So I'm gonna open this now. All right guys, I really like it. I haven't straightened it out. I just set it up. I'm not even, can't do that with this leg. But it's really cute. We have this up here. I don't know, part of me like wants like little like sconce things here, but it's not too much. I don't know. Anyways, this is the vibe. We now have a rug in the mirror fix and it's actually like so cozy. I love it. I just watered the plants. I'm really keeping up with this nicely. I have Lauren coming to water them this week while I'm gone. Like this is gonna be great guys. This is this is going really well. I'm very happy, very happy for myself. Also, I, I love this rug. I can't get over it. It looks so good. Rugs USA. I'm gonna try to link everything that I can in my videos like down below. I've been trying to get better about it. I used to be really good about it, but I don't know what's been up lately. I'm trying to get better again. Um, it's just such a good rug. Just reheated some of my cabbage soup that I made this week. So good guys, you have to make it. The modern proper cabbage soup. Good morning guys, it's currently 6.45. Ice rolling my face. I went to bed last night at like 8.30 maybe. I don't know, I went. I started reading at like 8.30 and I feel amazing. I wish I wore my aura ring to get my, um, my grade, my sleeping grade. Anyways, doing a little bit more ice rolling. I'm currently getting my vitamins together. I leave for New York today, I have it packed, but I don't leave until this afternoon. So I'm gonna have my little morning here, go on a walk, um, pack, I need to send in this week's like episode, record some for that, and then I need to leave. Head out of here around like one or two, I think. I'm landing. It sucks because I thought I was landing at 7.30, so I was gonna go over to Danielle's house because all the girls are going over there in her apartment. And then I just realized that at 7.30 my time, 8.30 their time. So I will be too late and I'm gonna miss everything, which sucks, but. It's okay, I'll see everyone this week. Weekends kind of take me out, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't, I have so much energy to get stuff done during the week, but weekends for some reason, like, maybe it's because I'm around a lot more people, that has to be it, and there's alcohol involved, actually that is it. I'm just like so tired, you know? So, anyways, that is that. I made myself a little espresso shot to do my morning pages, and we're about to get down to business here, guys. It is so cozy in here now, I have my espresso shot, gonna read a chapter or two of eat, probably the artist way actually I think I need to catch up again back to journaling and my water I mean it's just so cozy it's now like 7 45 I'm gonna go on a walk and grab some coffee this um top is skims I actually don't know why I'm not wearing it all the time I thought it was way more see-through than it is and I love it I'm wearing a subactive set just white shoes I cannot find my white hokas anywhere like since I left Nashville. And I, I think I won't, no, I didn't wear them back because I wore boots. I don't know, maybe I left them in the Airbnb because like I have not seen them anywhere. And do you know how hard it was to find white hokas? <sighs> and I love them, they're like my favorite shoes. So I have to figure that out. Eventually I will repurchase if I don't find them. That's why I'm wearing these. Anyways, can I get coffee?
now like 8 30 gonna drink my coffee on the roof i worry that i'm like overwatering these oh i'm really not actually all right i have my outfits kind of planned out not all of them but a good amount of them so i'm starting to pack i need to get a lot of work done before it's like 9 a.m i don't have to leave for a few hours so hopefully i'll have this done probably like within like 30 40 minutes well guys just opened my suitcase and i found my hokas i have no idea how i put my suitcase away with my hokas in them no clue anyways outfits are ready things are ready to go throwing them all in my suitcase guys this is my outfit for the airport i'm really hot right now but like you gotta do what you gotta do okay my top is skims the same one i was wearing earlier sweats are mad happy uggs mini uggs i need to move all this stuff it's like really disrupting my vibe here um my normal bag i have my headphones away yet i'm carrying one scarf out of it because it just won't fit this bag is Calpac. Um, it's a great carry-on. I just carry too much of my carry-on, so like I need it to be a little bit bigger, but it is a really good carry-on. Um, and then my luggage is base. I got it from the Tezza collab. It's really like stuff. I'm a little bit worried about the overweight thing. <laughs> Knock on wood. This is what I'm wearing to the airport. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We're gonna have three new videos, I think, from New York. So many podcast episodes, pop up, everything. Lots going on this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. My biggest fear in life is, like, I'll accidentally settle, which, I th which I'm so not that. And I think that maybe when I was writing this down, I was thinking maybe I actually do have a little bit of commitment issues, and that's why I'm so, and I've never felt that way before, but that's why I'm so like, oh my God, don't talk to me, because I just think, like, that is not going to be the best case scenario for me. I 